So I got a S4 NA rotor with a OEM installed bearing. We're gonna use this as a basis of how many tons does it take to remove the bearing out of the rotor. So let's give it a try. So usually the OEM bearings, OEM installed bearings, they're around between six and eight tons of pressure to remove. Anything below six, that's installed incorrectly. So uh, six, seven, Eight. Oh. So, eight, eight tons of pressure to remove the oil and bearing. Now, the way I install them, it usually takes about ten tons of pressure to remove them, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and go through that process. So. A good installed bearing between eight and ten eight and ten tons of pressure to remove is a good solid install anything below that that's half-assed so I'm doing the second one cleaned up all the grease we'll put some Loctite install this bad boy boom so we hit the bottom up the excess Loctite we we'll get the bearing nice and tight clean smooth and uh, that's how she's done put this to the side and two bearings installed all right it's too hot up here I'm gonna switch uh, places so here is a bearing that I pressed in using the uh, the method I just showed you guys. Cleaned up surface with a uh, heavy duty uh, scotch bright pad using the uh, the green retaining compound uh, Loctite and pressed that in. I pressed this about three hours ago. It should have seated. So I'm gonna put this and extract this bearing and show you guys uh, how good it is seated and how tight. So we should get close to OEM retaining pressure or maybe higher maybe we get up to 10 10 tons but it usually is pretty uh pretty oem consistent so there we go three four five six uh, six well, that's not bad but that kind of tells you so 
between six and eight is stock uh, bearing press retaining pressure. Maybe if I would have let it sit longer, because you can see it's still uh, still wet. So some of it seated, some of it didn't. So maybe if I would have left it uh, 24 hours to seat, I would have had um, a little more uh, tonnage to press it out. But I'm happy with six. So between six and eight, the stock, anything above that is perfect. So uh, that's kind of how I do it. So I'm back. Uh, I'm here in a nice cool room. I can focus on uh, what I'm trying to say and what to do. So I kind of showed you uh, how I do it. This is my friend retaining compound, press fit. It is uh, Loctite 609. Clean the surface really nice with the uh, Scotch Brite Brillo pad, so you don't want to really remove material. You just want it to give it, uh, uh, you know, expose some uh, some the surface so the Loctite can bite. Loctite will not work on any surface that has oil residue. So if you're using Loctite on bolts, nuts, whatever it may be, if it has oil, grease. Or any oily substance it will not work as designed so uh make sure your surface is nice and clean <clears throat> make sure this is nice and frozen uh nice and cold and uh as you guys see me uh line it up first usually when you line these up they never tend to uh you know sit in here nice and perfect straight level so they kind of cock and wobble why not so, I mean, I've done so many where I'm pretty consistent and fast at it. So I try to line it up. I kind of get a feel of how she sits. And, uh, you know, I'll tap it where I know it is touching. This will not hurt the bearing at all. This is a mallet. You're slightly tapping it just to lock it in. Give it a visual. Make sure it's nice and level where this one is not. This will give us a problem when installing. So you have to reseat. Uh, if you spend too much time on doing this, you might have to start over, put this back in the uh, fridge, or get the other one, put this one back, and start all over. But uh, repetition will get you better and more proficient at doing this. And also having a nice die and tool also helps the situation. Uh, in the past, I have done it uh, where you know I've tried to heat up the rotor, 350, 400 degrees. Uh, I found it not to be that good. Uh, the reason why I believe that uh, if you're going to heat up the rotor and install a cold bearing, the install procedure will have to be fairly quick because uh, heat transfer from the rotor to the, to the bearing will happen very quick. So if you're on a traditional pump style press, uh, I think you will have an issue where halfway through it will start to heat soak and this will expand so you will end up with probably half of the bearing kind of nice and snug and the other half just pretty blown out because it overgrew and it's removing material from the bearing as it's scraping it so half is nice and seated the other half is not if you heat up the rotor using Loctite eh, because uh, the problem occurs where soon as the lactite hits the hot surface it starts to dry up and cure so this is a no-no so if you have a press that can install this and within three seconds four seconds max where from start to beginning it it's in there then uh i think you have a pretty good chance where heat transfer will be minimized and this will be pretty much solid in there but uh from my experience I didn't have any luck with heating them up and do and installing them. So, as you've seen in the video, doing it this way kind of uh, brings it up to the same as factory. I mean, it, it retains six to eight tons. I've done them where I've got 10 tons of uh, retaining pressure, just doing it in this fashion. Cold, retaining compound, good clean surface, and uh, a nice straight install. 
I believe I got less than what I had anticipated because this bearing has been pressed in before. So the one in the video that you are seeing, this bearing goes the second time it was pressed in and came out. So I believe it lost its mojo on the first time. You don't, ideally you don't wanna pop these in and pop them out and reuse them. Once you pop them in and pop them out, they're kind of, I won't use them. They kind of deform and uh, you know, they don't have such a great retaining power, but uh, you know, you can use it if you want. No one will know unless you tell them, right? So uh, that's about it. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. Just uh, common sense. Follow the instructions, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll think of another video next time to do. Same thing on the main bearings. Uh, do it the same way. Clean it up with the uh, the Scotch Brite do the retaining and uh i get a pretty good solid retaining uh pressure on the bearings themselves too and i do not heat these up either so thanks for watching enjoy your weekend uh maybe next weekend i'll have something something new to talk about peace out